Hi, take Rabbit here. Got some hard drives and um, some trays, so let's see what we can do with them. So anyway, here, finally right. Um, we have caddies. So these are the, the kind of holders for the hard drives. And um, this one has um, this round or circular lead indicator which has several different sections and in the user manual um, there's different codes that this gives directly on the front panel related to the hard drive and as you see it has this connector in the back now there's a lot of these caddies or uh, trays that are sold online that um, uh, actually um, they don't have the electronics, so they actually don't have that nice display. And then you can like release it. So this is these are these should be the original ones. They're they're actually bought um, new from, from China, and um, and it comes with these small screws. And then we have a bunch of hard drives. So I actually um, did a lot of searching on, on the usual seller sites and um, tried to find out what's the best per gigabyte and quality value. So I, I picked at the time of filming, these seem to be the, pretty much the best offer going. So these are our enterprise SAS drives, 600 gigabytes. And that's actually the good thing with having a storage unit with so many um, <laughs> slots that I can basically buy pretty much any any capacity. And, and if I fill this, I get enough disk space to um, to uh, yeah to make it useful. Well, I think that um, I settled on 600 gigabytes. Of course, there's much larger size um, capacities than this. Capacity is less capacity, or hard drives with less capacity. And then this is a 10,000 RPM mechanical hard drive. So I thought one could also run with SSDs. Um, yeah. Probably the next upgrade. So now I'm going to um, work on um, screwing these in there like that. And then we'll see if it slots in there. So. so I'll fix that and then we'll test if it fits. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Okay. Um, there's holes here. Uh, but there don't seem to be the real screw holes. You need to screw it in on the side. So there's two there. And there's two there. Now, the most surprising thing is these screws, and I probably won't be able to show it because it won't focus, but these are the these are torque safety screws. So um you'll need to have a special toolkit too, because this, this contains the um, appropriate um bits. So I'll just do a an unboxing here then. I actually bought this for another project, so I wasn't planning to <laughs> need it to install the screw um, hard drives in. That's the life. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Neat logo. Okay, how does it come out? Oh, okay, there's a cold box in. I fix it. So, right. Here we go. So, 
So, or at least set up with, with some tools we can use. So, which one is it then? One of these. Oh, I hope they have a small enough one. Oh, they no, no, they go even, they go even micro small. Oh, I wonder what size that is. That one. Kind of have to guess. Yes. Oh, it feels a bit loose. Let's go one size up. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. That fits really good. So back in business. So I couldn't use. Uh, I thought it was Phillips. Just the more. Very good to be prepared with different tools, that's for sure. And I wonder if this fits this one. Yes, it does. So, let's get that screwed in. Yeah. I will tighten it completely until I screw this size side in also. I get all the screws started on thread and then I'll tighten them down. Well, I mean, why use torque safety? I have no idea. Doesn't really make much sense. So now the exciting thing is that is this a real caddy? Assuming that it needs to slot in the right way up. And then it wants us to start the um, drives from number one, that should be that one. Oh, that's number one. And then let's see if we can push it in. Lock it. Oh. It's looking okay. Just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so in theory you should be able to get it out by pressing the button and then pulling it out like that. And there's the um, contacts for the electronic. <laughs> Zoomed in, it won't close. Okay, so let's try that again. No. Lock. So. So I'm going to, it's going to be um, six drives per server, so I'm, so I'm going to start screw, screwing, screwing them all in, into the caddies, and then, um, I mean, it's the same repetitive process, so you just do one, two, three, and then it'll fill up down there, come back when it's done. So, that's the Hard drives in place. Uh, so let's start this one. See what happens.
I <laughs> still like pressing F5 to get into the raid array configuration over and over. Oh, finally! Oh, or no, did it go to intelligent position? No, you can do that too. Going to have to see what works and what doesn't work. The thing is that it did say press F5 to get into the low-level raid. I mean, the thing is, I have no experience of this uh, specific HP model of this generation. But um, I would have expected if one pressed F5 in the in the BIOS menu, one would get into a low-level configuration subsystem to be able to just to say that okay, make make one logical block of the whole thing and use RAID 5. And of course I have to go get the mouse that I packed away also. <coughs> or is it embedded in the... in this utility then? It looks like it. Mouse for this. Okay. Okay. Now I can't remember which configure it, which RAID controller this was using. Or is it using both? Oh, let's see if we can...
let's try the other one. Yes. Well, that's nice, it's filmed all the drives, so that's nice. The thing is, I'm not completely sure how it's configured. It, it could be that it, that the... <laughs> I can't fill it with drives, so, and I haven't read the manual, so... Um, it could be that it's you, when, you, when you fill it completely, then it actually needs two, two separate RAID controllers. The one that's on the motherboard and the card-based RAID. Or then it runs everything off the card for the to for the storage base. But anyway, we found we have found our drawers at least. It's covering the okay. Okay, but now I've, um, except for the issue that I can't select what rate level it's going to use, I'm quite happy with this. So let's just say whatever. Oh, yeah, well, they're all the same size. So that's the third of the space going to protect the drives then. 
Well, that's quite understandable. So it's more than I counted myself. Not that I did an in-depth analysis of. So I think we actually have an array now with a physical block set up. Here, set boot control. No, I want that as a boot control. Because that's where my disk source. Yeah, it seems to be processing the drives at least. Well, I would call it a day and say that that's ready for operating system installation, as far as I can understand. Well, let's see what happens when we get out of here. Reboot. Now it should basically somewhere complain that it hasn't got an operating system to load. Like from the disk. It's all green on the... no, no, it's still blinking or... Well, I suppose green is good. <laughs> Better than having it blinking red. Initializing the rate controller, see what it says. the other controller. Here we go, that's the slot 3 controller. 
Okay, optimization. This performance optimization is kind of progress. Raid 5 slash 6 performance may be higher. So, okay, that was the... So this... So it seems like this also has a uh, motherboard based um, RAID controller. I didn't actually realize that. Ah, now it's just got a non-system disk or disk errors. Because it's trying to boot from the um, RAID controller and it can't do it. Because this is not an operating system yet. Okay, so um, now I will um, do the other server in the same way, but, but it'll be the same. Uh, it'll be the same logic. So I will record that one. So oh, let's see what ILO says about the, uh, this guy. Where's the server? Okay, logical drives are one, and then it breaks down into those physical drives. Yeah, that looks fine. So that's a more useful thing about Tile, you can actually check these things in a, in a quite a nice interface to see if they're working. And I mean, the other machine will look pretty much the same, so I'll check that offline. Ah, hope you found that informative. Please consider subscri subscribing, hit the like button. Uh, merch is available, or if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, the links are in the comments. And um, see you in the next one.